You know, on the refugee process, um, the, the issue here, as I mentioned, is this is one that was uh, kind of never um, really sped up anywhere before in the world to, to meet an urgent need for relocation. And uh, the, it was kind of one of these systems where you do one step and then you do the next step. It's a little bit shoots and ladders, too. Very you know, you, linear. You, what? Very linear. Very linear, yeah. But you could also kind of get sent back to go uh, different points. If you had a, a new baby, you had to figure out how to add the baby to your case, and that was a whole different process. If you had a physical, which is required for refugees coming to the US, it only is valid for a certain period of time. So if that expired before your case was done, there you go back to square one. And so what we have done is we have changed this from a process where you do each step consecutively to one in which you do them all at once. Uh, and this has sped up the process to make it uh, go from something that previously took years to something that takes weeks or months. And um, you know, this is something that has benefited not only Afghans. We're now using this at 12 sites around the world uh, to process other refugees coming to the United States. And that's a great segue into talking about partnerships, right? We've talked about people. We've talked about process. Curtis and the US Digital Service and the White House team worked with civil society, and somebody in the room asked, why is it, why do you do it all at once? Why don't you just do it all at once? 